everybody. It's Tandy the Canadian Samber, and it's Saturday, and we're crafting. And uh, it's June 11th today, and I think it actually feels a little bit like summer outside. So I'm going to bring up your comments. We're going to get right to it today because um, we're doing all the things. Like, we're probably going to be moving pretty quick. So good thing it's recorded so that you can... Uh, watch it back later, if you wish. Morning, Kate and Wendy. Hello. So we're doing masking. We're doing heat embossing. And we're doing blending. So two cards, totally different. Morning, Lori. I want to show you this fun thing that I got. Do you love him? <laughs> I totally love it. We went down to uh, the Langford, is it the night market maybe they call it? I'm not sure. And uh, it was there in one of the one of the booths that they have set up down there. It's pretty cool. Here we go. Hi Pam, Lori, Wendy, all my peeps are here. So after the uh, card buffets, I wiped down everything with uh, some wet wipes and it leaves like this film over it. All right, so two things. I'm casing cards. One, this one is from, oh my gosh, Everyday Stamping. And then the other one is from the Crafty O oh, Ink Pen. Uh, it's a guy, uh, Crafty Mayhem I thought it was, but that's not what the image says. He's from the UK. Love me some male crafters. They are, they have such good inspiration. Anyways, they're few and far between, but they're good. So uh, you guys don't necessarily love this stamp set, so I wanted to use it today, and it's beautiful for this card. And then this big one, uh, Good Feelings, I got for free with from Stampin' Up! for going to convention. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so here's actually Everyday Stamping. She used these three colors. Um, I don't know about that. I might, I feel like Pacific Point is super dark, so I might have to bring in some balmy blue. Yeah, Kate, you like this? You like my, um, my holder? So do I. I got it a few weekends ago. Love it. I might get another one. All right, let's do it. We're blending first. So I have just a basic, uh, white card base, and then... This is the piece that we're gonna be working on. And then this is some masking paper. Let's actually deal with the masking first. So Starry Sky, I'm going to, have you guys used masking paper? You know the, I never know which side, let's be totally honest. Whatever. We're just gonna. I'm just gonna stamp it, and we're just gonna hope for the best. <laughs> I don't have time for this today. We're just gonna roll with it. Ooh, that's dark. I don't know if you can. Oh yeah, I've got my cleaner over here today. Uh, I did actually some pre-stamping and fussy cutting for the other card because it's kind of just weird just having you guys sit and watch me cut like I'm about to do now, but this is pretty easy. These are straight lines, somewhat straight lines. Okay, so masking tape, uh, we want, now just let me think about this because masking, whatever image you want at the forefront uh, is what you wanna stamp first, and then you cover it with this, and then you stamp over it. And then as you reveal the mask, the f initial image that you wanted at the forefront will be revealed. All will be revealed. So, Stampin' Up! now has masking paper. We didn't for a long time. So I'm pretty pumped that we have that. So sometimes we would use, well, contraband or post-it notes. But Stampin' Up! has come around now, which is good. 
So perfectly, this is actually perfect for the front of my card. I should have actually glued my paper down, but whatever. Okay, so don't like save this, that other piece of masking paper. Good morning, Mary. All right, so let's do it. Uh, I think I'm gonna blend first. So we're using Pacific Point. We might have to pivot and go with balmy blue, but we'll see. So I put these in their color families. This is the blue. So the blending brushes come three to a pack. Uh, and I've got my mat here. This is a messy business. Oh my gosh, I think this is gonna be so dark. Yowza. Okay, well, let's just do it. Let's just get in the mix here. Did you see me switch that up? You're supposed to stick with the same swirl, I think, going in the same direction. Hi, Mary. I have Mary and Marie. Sometimes when I when I mention like, oh, so-and-so's order is here. Oh, who are you texting? Oh, so-and-so. Lance gets confused because he knows Mar uh, Marie Giffen, but he does not know Mary. Oh shoot, I don't want, I'm not ready to, I'm not ready for that. I need to do the bottom a bit. Stand by, what's happening here? So I don't use Pacific Point a ton because it's, it's really, um, it's really quite bold, like it pops out. This is not, I don't hate this, this blueiness. I mean, as long as I'm getting rid of kind of the main parts over here, it's much softer than I was expecting, so I'm, I'm good with that. So I am gonna use, so there's not really gonna be any white underneath. Mm. So you can put, so these are flexible heads, and I am, well, you can see what I'm doing. I feel like that's enough. Okay, now I'm gonna go in the red family. And we're doing Calypso Coral. I am not going to blend with Starry Sky. That's not a thing that I'm doing. Okay, so to clean these, I'm not really sure how other demonstrators do it. This is how I do it. And I just go like so. If you were going to use this again on a different shade of blue, I would just keep doing this on your paper until there was nothing there. See, there's nothing coming off of there. So it's good to go, even though it's got a bit of a stain, that's okay. So if you're gonna use it on a lighter shade, brush it off and then go into your blue. But if you're finished with it for the day, then you could clean it like I just did. All right, so Calypso Coral, do this as well. So <clears throat> we are going, ooh, I like those colors. I'm digging it. So I'm putting, I'm actually going right over the blue. I'm gonna zoom in guys, stand by. Am I zoomed? Maybe. Nope. Um, what's happening? Oh, there we go. Nailed it. My color looks like not as bright as I want it. There we go. That's more bright. All right, <clears throat> back to blending. I am going just, just under where that blue was. And then I've got some splotchy bits, so I'm going over the whole thing. That's pretty, I like the, I dig it, I dig it. Yeah, Gail, the brushes are good. They come in a three pack. And like some people have them, one for every color. Uh, I don't have the budget for that kind of craziness, but good for those who do. I, I don't feel like I need it. I think the color family is like I was saying is good. I have two packs of three, so I have six. And I find that some, I don't even use them uh, for blending. Like I don't do a ton of blending. I suppose the people who have a whole bunch of them might do way more blending than me. It's possible. All right, so I did not have to use 
the balmy blue like I thought I was going to. So now, now we're gonna blend. So I'm gonna use the edge of my mat. Okay, let me think about this. I want, I want my mountains. So here's, okay, let me tell you about this. Mountain Air, this is a reversible stamp. So when you see um, an image like this, it means it's reversible. Like it'll tell you in the details of the stamp too in the catalog, but just so you know at a glance. So front and back, front and back. So right now I'm using this side. These are all reversible. Oh, look at that. I didn't even realize that the birds, which I love by the way, these little birds, I sometimes do them with a black uh, gel pen. It turns into like a mini cloud. Just realizing that right now. All right, so we're going to do, um, I'm just looking at the project and I'm trying to figure out, I think maybe I'll do this one first actually. Pacific Point. So I'm gonna ink this up. Terry Giffen, you're watching? I love it. I don't know if you've ever watched my live before. Maybe you could get into crafting, Terry. So I was talking about men crafting. If you were so inclined. Are you laughing out loud right now, Terry? <laughs> okay, I'm committing. Shoot, I should have... Um, so these are photopolymer stamps, which means I should have a little pad underneath. Rookie mistake. But hopefully it just works out here. Woo, nailed it. All right, let's clean this off and then let's let's fuss with this. Mm, so what I want to do, I want a second set of mountains down here. So for this stamp set, uh, I just want to clean it a bit more. Um, when using, so this is exactly where I was. Let's say we were to do uh, like mask this, which we are going to, you would want to offset it so the peaks are slightly off. See what I'm saying? So I'm going to stamp down here, but I don't want these peaks to match, so I'm going to offset slightly. Yeah, I am. This is Pacific Point. Jeez, I think I should have second generation stamped that. I feel like this is going to be really dark. Really dark. Let's see. Terry, you said yes. Does that mean yes, you're going to start crafting or yes, you're watching? Feel free to share any projects. I know you send me photos of Marie's work. I wonder if secretly it's your work. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Just teasing. So today, uh, after this live, we're going downtown. I totally love this. Look at that. Love it. So Pacific Point and Starry Sky. Looks like a whole mountain range. That's exactly what it's supposed to look like. Love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna get rid of this Starry Sky. Now let's deal with the masking. Let's see how we do. Oh my gosh, I did it on the right side. Maybe there isn't a right and a wrong side. I should probably do a video or something about it. Okay, so the masking, so it's like post-it note on the back. And so you put that right over, make sure to get right on the line. If you go over, <clears throat> you're gonna have a bit of extra white space. And like, if that's not the look you're going for, then don't do that, of course, but the line matters. So now I'm flipping this stamp over for the back side here. Yeah, so after this, we are going down with Kate and Kai down to the uh, Coast Guard open house thing downtown, which is awesome. I am going to get my little mat because I really don't want to mess this up. So this is the stamping mat I was telling you about. 
So I'm lining it up here again. Whoops, let me go up since I'm not on camera. Okay, so I'm using <clears throat> the other side. I feel like I'm gonna stamp off once. I just wanna see what this looks like. I feel like it's gonna be super dark and I don't want it. Yeah, yowza, look how dark that is. Stand by. Uh, I just want a scrap piece of paper. I might actually do balmy blue. I feel like, wowza, look at how dark that is. Holy moly. Okay. Yowza. Okay, let's try second gen here and see if that's going to work for us. There will be sugar. Oh yeah, that's better. Let's go third just to see. Yeah, so the Coast Guard, and it's down by Fisherman's Wharf. So I think we might get some uh, lunch down there too. Maybe. I feel like second gen is the way to go. Okay, so let's go here. We'll ink this up. Can be using the Pacific Point. Okay. First. Okay, so now we have our masking on. So, and I'm offsetting the peaks of the mountain. Mm, where do I want it? Right there. So the base of my mountain is not going above any of the valleys. I don't know if that makes sense. So don't be afraid to just leave it on your page for the ink to soak through. Nailed it. Nailed it. Okay, ready to see the masking? Ta-da! Love it. Okay, don't throw this away. Put this in your stamp case. I used to actually have some in here. I don't know. I don't know where they went. Keep it in here because then you can use the masking paper over and over. Jeez, I don't know how many times I've used reused masking paper, like lots. Okay. We're very close to being done. Let's bring in our stamparatus. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna do Starry Sky for the sentiment. So Stamparatus, I have a tutorial there on my, on YouTube about features and benefits and such for the Stamparatus, if that's of interest to you. My YouTube channel there is linked. All right, so what else can I tell you about? So the Coast Guard, they're doing like a tour of the boat. I don't know if you watched if you watched Vancouver Island news last night, but I had it on the news. Okay, Stamparatus is your friend because in a situation like this where there's been so much work done on the back of the card or card base, uh, I wouldn't freehand stamping this because it would make me nervous. Oh my gosh, I love it. Uh, because, especially with cling stamps, if you mess it up, then you're kind of hooped. Whereas with the Stamparaz, let's say it didn't work, like there was a bit, then you just ink it up again and go over and over and over. And it just constantly stamps again and again and again in the same spot. Very handy. Okay. So now we're going to add this to our base and the first one's done. Where do you think my card base is? Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm keeping this simple <clears throat> as far as uh, no ribbon or embellishments or anything. My fingers are a hot mess here.
Stand by. I don't trust that I'm not gonna get blue ink all over my white paper. See, look at that. How did this happen? <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. Let's get rid of the old one. Hopefully, I still don't trust that my hands aren't gonna mess it up. Okay, first one is done. On my mind and in my heart. Love it. Okay, first card done. Now, let's bring in all the other bits. So that one we did masking, blending, and stamparatus. And now, folks, we're using flowing, oh, flowing flowers. I think I tagged the wrong thing. And we're using this punch. This is contraband, y'all. It's happening. I don't have the, I don't have the white Stampin' Up stuff, and I needed it for this project. So, we do an embossing. We're gonna use white embossing powder. Now, if you watched last week's live with Christy, we did a little tutorial there on how to use, or how to do heat embossing. So here's all of our bits. So this is Mary Merlot card base. Usually it happens to me, Wendy, getting ink everywhere on my hand when I'm using reds. Maybe the other colors are not as noticeable. Okay, so then, just to give you a rough idea, this is gonna go like this. We're gonna weather it a bit. Oh, smoothies are happening. We're not using this tree. We're gonna use pieces of it. Uh, I don't know what set, I don't remember what set this is from. A fall set. Because I just want some of the sprigs. Like so. That's probably good. And we've got two flowers, which I have stamped with Mary Merlot. And then I have two uh, leaves in soft succulent. So I pre-did these just to speed things along so that we could have time to build. So there's a lot of technique here. So let's set the base aside. Now let's, first things first, let's deal with this. Um, as far as getting it weathered, I need this back. Fold this in half. All right. So to weather this, uh, actually, let's blend first. So I just want to add a bit of. You know how I like my layers, and I like this card because of all the layers. Just subtle, subtle layers, which on their own, meh, whatever. However. Uh, all together make really a striking card. See, you can't even notice it, right? But I feel like it's gonna matter later. Oh yeah, Gail, that's right. Sprigs, that's right, for um, cor as coral in a water scene. Yeah, that's great, that's a good idea. I might just do this whole piece, actually. I think this is what the person did who originally did this card because I'm gonna show you in a second. When you put it up to the base, which is the same color, you can tell it's slightly different as far as a shade. So I'm just going around the outside. Yeah, see, you can see how it's slightly different. Yeah. That's right. All right, let's get rid of this. Now, do I have red on my hands? Of course I do. Awesome. Okay, snips. And we're weathering. This is what it means. So Stampin' Up! Paper has 
um, just as far as like in comparison to other brands of paper. Sometimes some of the cheaper papers are not colored all the way through. So if you were to do this, then you would reveal the white on the inside. So Stampin' Up! paper is dyed all the way through. So not to worry about that. So I'm pushing pretty hard, like you can see all the flex down here. Okay, so I am gonna show you the cards for tomorrow's class. I'll give you a, a disclaimer first. Oh, hi, Lance. Thank you for my smoothie. You're the best. See how we're weathering that? I might just go a little bit more while I natter at you. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you. I'll do a little spoiler alert in case you're coming tomorrow and you're watching and you're like, I want it to be a surprise. So we're doing 10 projects. It's the mega bundle class. So I'll show you those in a minute. And then the card buffet is June 25. I feel like I want it to be more. I'm tearing. Yeah, June 25 for the card buffet. I'm actually pretty I'm pretty much full, so it's like a cancellation list, I think, because I can only have so many in the house. Okay, do you guys do this weathering? Is this an, Is this a new thing for you? Or you're like, I do this all the time. I feel like that's probably good. Yeah. Okay. So it's just a little bit. I'm going to get rid of this. It's like cooking. You got to keep your work surface as clean as you can. All right. So far. Blended and weathered. Now what are we doing? Heat embossing. Embossing buddy. To get the static off, especially since we did our blending. All right. Uh, so now I'm going to use this. And we're doing white. White heat embossing. <sighs> And I need a block. All right. So just as a recap, we did our embossing buddy. Now we have Versamark, which is clear ink. And I'm gonna stamp a few of these. So you're not supposed to really be able to see it. This is contributing to the layers. Mm, let's do one more there. Okay. So now, I mean, you're not in a panic, but you are working with purpose. So I've got the black piece to grab my extra that falls. Okay. So now I do a little tappy tap just to make sure it gets in all the places. Now, this and this, don't worry. Tilt it away so that when it falls, it's going, it's falling away from you and not into your project. I mean, you can leave it if that's what you're going for. Like if you, I mean, I'm gonna be adding some white flex to these things, so I could actually leave it, but yeah. All right, so now I'm just gonna leave you for a moment with the heat, well, actually, I don't like this. I just got the heat gun here behind me. I'm gonna heat it up. I'm gonna put it on level two. And, 
Um, it doesn't quite fit to my camera. So I'm just letting it heat up for a sec. So I'm going the back side just to warm the paper up a bit. You can't see it, but that's what I'm doing. And now I'm heat embossing the front. I should have moved my, um, whatchamacallit, the plug so that you can see. You can see it's starting to come. And I think that's good. So you're basically melting the powder. That's what heat embossing is all about. I don't know if this is, nope, that's not done. Stand by. Usually with heat embossing, it's easy to see when it melts because it changes and goes to a different color. This white's a bit difficult to see. But when you run your hand or your, like a finger over it, you should feel the, the difference. So this is good now. So if you go, ooh, that's hot. If you go over it, it, it feels dry. But before, when I just did it, it was, you could still feel the, um, the powder. Okay, so save this. It just goes right back in the in the bin. Now we're gonna do speckling. This card's got a lot of layers. Okay, so don't tell anybody that I'm using contraband. Oh, I need my mat. I don't know what happens when I use contraband. I've never I've never used it before on camera. I mean, sometimes I use it, but I don't actually know what I'm doing right now, so stand by. What I'm trying to do is I want some white flex. So I'm gonna do this. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Oh my gosh, it's working! That's so clever! That's my uh, tone that I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> uh, but I am using contraband though, it's fine, whatever. It's not the end of the world. It is not. So this is Hero Arts. I think maybe I got this from Michael's once upon a time before I was a demonstrator. But uh, Stampin' Up! does have the white pigment ink. Oh yeah, so sidebar, this is pigment ink, which means it takes a long time to dry, so I'm just gonna hit it with the heat gun, actually. So pigment ink takes a while to dry. It's different from the other, maybe water-based inks. I should do a little refresher on all my inks. Okay, what do you think so far? I love it. Okay, now we're gonna start building, y'all. All of our base pieces are organized. Gosh, I'm just so proud of myself that I did this, the flex. Flex of whatever. Okay, let's build it. Oops, I got a bit of water here on my vellum. Look at that. That's what happens when vellum gets wet. That's interesting. Okay, so let's punch this. Uh... Sure, let's do, I was hoping to get a couple. Uh-oh. Maybe one more. Whoops. Can I squeeze out one more? Oh yeah. Close is good, because we're layering. Okay, so let's put this on here. This is almost a bit Christmassy. So the flowing flowers, I think I mentioned this is retiring. <clears throat> and I think it's on the last chance list right now. And this kind of reminds me of Christmas a little bit. So now, uh oh, I got water on this one too. It's all right though. I'm gonna do this. And this is gonna be like that. 
Love it. Need my dimensionals. So this is the, the, I find this to be the funnest part of crafting is the building and putting all of the pieces together or layers in my case. I'm not happy with that. Hopefully it gets covered up though. Uh, here. And then this one. No. So you got time before it like commits to gluing. Maybe, yeah, like that. Okay, so this isn't fitting, so I'm just gonna cut it. Cause it's hitting, oh, actually it's okay. It was hitting that dimensional, which I didn't like, but I, I don't mind it tilted off to the side. So one up, one down helps with our layers. Okay, these guys, yes. You're gonna go in here. So these leaves are, so this is the flower we're using. The leaves are from this one. So I've just stamped really the uh, leaves and then fussy cut them. Cause I think that's how it was done originally like so. Okay, then we're gonna use this one. So to me, the layers are what, like the final touches, maybe that's a better way to say it. Final touches. Mm, no. This should have gone behind. So nobody's going to know that I'm chopping that. Nobody will know. It'll look as if it's totally meant to be. So here's all of our texture and our layers. So it's pretty good. I mean, we're only at 937. I did, I mean, do a little bit of pre-work. I feel like it needs more. Mm, this one is gonna go under here. It's too long. And then we're almost done. Like, I'm not worried about that. It just gives a bit of character to the leaf. Nobody's gonna know that it was supposed to be like that or not supposed to be like that. I'm doing it. It's all good. So then you just add layers until you don't feel like adding layers anymore. So two very different cards. Okay, so I'm gonna show you here in a moment. Oh, you need a sentiment? Look at this. Time for a happy dance. Uh, might go right there, actually. Yep, I'm doing it. So this side has popped up, this is not. So I'm doing dimensional on one side, glue on the other. Oh my God, I love this card. Who made this again? The Crafty O Ink Pen. The Crafty O Ink Pen. I love it. This is a bit heavy, but it's what the original design called for, the white twine. I feel like it's, that's fine. We're doing it. We're committing. It is, Wendy, I agree. It is color that says Christmas. Maybe that's why I was drawn to it. Yeah, I don't like you covering the word dance. So maybe here. Mm. Maybe just over a bit. 
Yeah, there we go. Love it. Okay, guys. What do you think? Give me a thumbs up or a heart if you love it. I love it. Oh, I got to do my little embellishments here. Where's my doodad? My take your pick tool. So I'm using the putty side and then you just pick up the dot. And, oh yeah, that's pretty. Gosh, I love this card. I don't know if you guys love it. Maybe I'm loving it on my own. Mm. I feel like I want one more down here. Ugh, you gotta do it in odd numbers. There, I love it. It's so pretty. Thanks for the hearts, guys. I love it too. I love it too. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you a few things. Oh, and I have a prize for today. If you're watching and want to like and share, then it'll go, you'll go into a draw. So, spoiler alert. In a moment, I'm gonna show you the cards for tomorrow's class to entice you for next time if you're not already joining us. So these are our projects for today. So I'll post those so you see, and then feel free to watch over and over again so that you can copy if you wish. Okay, holiday rhinestone basic jewels. I don't know if these are current or not, but they're amazing, so like and share, and then I will pick a winner for these. Uh, Wendy C, I do have your prize that I will give you tomorrow. I haven't put that in the mail yet. And thanks Pauline for liking and sharing. So look at this, mini catalog and celebration. So if you don't know what celebration is for two months, for every $60 you spend, you get to pick a free item out of here. I can't open it of course until July 1st. But you can see hippos and there's some dyes that match. This is some paper as a little hint. Uh, wonderful world, amazing phrases. And this, see these note cards and envelopes? Lots of great hints on here, by the way. So there's that same paper. Yeah, so free stuff for two months. And then of course, this is the July to December mini catalog. And so it's got Christmas, fall, Halloween, all the things. I've got this, this is like six by six paper. I have my pre-order coming, so I'll do an unboxing probably next week. Oh my gosh, guess what? I'm officially done work. You know what that means? I'm gonna inundate you with crafting loveliness. That's what's gonna happen because I'm gonna have time on my hands until my school starts in July. Okay, ready? I'm showing you the cards for tomorrow. Prepare to be amazed. <laughs> so here's the cards for tomorrow's mega bundle class. This one is fun because we're using, um, what do you call it? Uh, scoring. This one, this is a fun design with the DSP. Where'd the music go? Hello? And there's that new set Christy used this last weekend. And then there's this one. So this, this die set back here and this one with the circles come in a set. Stylish shapes dies. And then here's me using Pacific Point again. So to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not totally sure how we're gonna make 10 cards in two hours, but we're gonna give it the old college try. So here's our projects. Like and share for the chance to win this. And I think that's it. Uh, my catalogs will be here this week. So if you've put an order in with me in the last six months, then you will get a catalog. And if you have not, but you need a catalog and a demonstrator, I'm happy to send you one. 
Totally. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I super appreciate our mornings together on Saturday. Uh, my YouTube channel is linked there, which has got tons of tutorials. My Stampin' Up! website has tutorials and my newsletter link there. Do a weekly newsletter. Have an awesome weekend, guys. See you next week. See you probably during the week because I'm going to do some more lives probably with all my spare time. And we will chat more later. Bye for now.